All right. So, a lot of people have been asking me about Satan recently. She's a, that's a weird sentence to start a video with. Okay, we're going with it. But, um, I made a cool cosplay recently. There's lots of big wings involved and people want to know a little bit more about what went into that and what went into the photo shoot. So I'm gonna talk for a second about how I made all of the things and then show you some prep that I did for that really cool photo shoot. Okay, so all 12, yes, 12 of the wings are made exactly the same way. This is one of the ankle wings, which is smaller and easier to show you things on. As you can see, this is just made of the three millimeter EVA foam. It's untreated, there's nothing on it. I really wanna texturize them later, use some dimensional fabric paint to add the middle bits of the feathers, uh, cut the edges to flute them a little. But for now, uh, that's not what I've done. So this is good to just show you the basic. But all it is literally is just some craft foam that you can buy at any Walmart or craft store. First I went and I cut out these little flipper shaped pieces and then I cut out a good number of slightly curved long boys right here. Just glued them to the back of that base with hot glue. Did as many as looked right. Did some slightly shorter ones. Did some slightly shorter ones, same thing. And then at the end of all that did the top covering piece, which the design I settled on for that, that looked best at the time. I'll see how I feel about later, I might redo that bit. Just one long piece with the little fluted bottoms and a couple long sticky out bits to sort of mesh it in with the others. Now, people ask for a pattern that I used for these wings. The answer is I didn't use a pattern. Um, I just sort of eyeballed everything as I went. All I did to make sure that the pairs of wings matched up properly was just to cut them out kind of two at a time. So I was working on both wings, either side mirrored at once and was doing approximately the same thing. You can just heat it up with a hair dryer to curl in some of them slightly and give it that natural wing look, etc. Now, uh, the backs are unfinished right now just because I was being photographed from the front and didn't need them, but I'm going to do something similar just to add on the backs in a little bit for when I wear this to a convention. And I'll show you sort of how that applies onto the big wings, which are the same thing, and how those are put together into the harness in the back. All right, so these are my big boys. They're literally just larger versions constructed exactly the same as the other, just nothing but EVA foam and hot glue. And this is the good looking front part that you can see. This is what shows behind my back. You'll notice it's not connected to a harness or anything. Uh, that's because I knew I was gonna be wearing something that was sort of sleeveless and I didn't want to have a harness visible. And also uh, because the other way that one normally does, which is like putting rods in a corset, things like that, that you can do to have sleeveless wings, uh, just seemed uncomfortable and like a lot of work and I wanted something I could take on, put off easily, and something that I wouldn't have to cut holes in the back of the dress for in order to accommodate them. So you'll note that this is actually a magnetic board and I'll show that how that goes on later. But first off, I'll just show you how the back of these wings are oriented because it's very simple and very ugly looking, which is why we're going to fix that later. But for now, it shows you the structure pretty well. There. Satisfying noise. All it is is a little skeleton that I made with Wonderflex, which is a type of thermoplastic cheaper to, a little bit cheaper than Warbler, but similar to Warbler on these, which is very layered on the top ones so that they can hold themselves up as such. Reinforce that with a little bit of cardboard and then just thermoplastic on top, layered it, sandwiched it all together. This is all that it is. Again, no harness, no fancy rigging, all just stuff I already owned, all held together with hot glue and heat. This is a very simple process. These wings are a super simple build when you break them down so you don't have to worry about like rigging yourself up something crazy. Now I want to go into a, let's go back to magnets, because I want to show you just how that works. These are neodymium magnets. I got them off Amazon, a pack of 10, about yay big, for about $20, Amazon Prime, gotta love that. Jeff Bezos has all my money forever. <laughs> but um, you see they have these white plastic spacers between the magnets. Uh, this is important because they are very strong, and you will not be able to get them apart if you put them together without something in the middle. So I might regret the choice that I'm about to make. But these things are, uh, they're, um, they're pretty goodly intense. They stick really hard through a lot of things, which is 
exactly what I needed if I wanted to have something that would firmly attach those wings to my back. Again, I went with magnets for a couple of reasons, the chiefest of which was I didn't want to have to be able to, or have to be forced to modify any clothing to put holes in it for wings to poke out, because I might want to use these wings for multiple cosplays just because they look cool, and I want to make sure I'm not like tearing holes in a bunch of casual outfits just because I want something to look cool. So I wanted something that I could easily put on and off with any kind of outfit and the solution ended up being these mildly terrifying boys right here. This right here is a little bit of a sheet of Wonderflex to which I have glued three of those magnets in specific dot succession. And this is the thing that connects my body to the wings. It's an extremely simple process. I have this thing, I have a stretchy thing, I use the stretchy thing to adhere this to my back. So I'm just gonna do that right quick, easiest to show it practically. Alright, and you'll see that the magnet board is now, with the magnets facing inwards towards my skin, adhered to my torso. Now this, under the Satan costume, I just do over a plain bodysuit. And then you'll note that um, to cover up a bit better where the wrap is and everything else, I put a secondary nude bodysuit over that. And I don't want to wear it right now because clingy and hot and I don't have it. So I'm just going to put a jacket back over so that you can see the theory of how it works a bit better. It's nice and it hides any sort of internal rigging you have. Obviously it's sticking out the butt here because I didn't put it quite as high as I normally do, but it's just for illustration purposes. Now, on the wing boys, you'll see that I have three magnetic dots poking through the Wonder Flex glued in the exact same manner. Now I wanted to be able to put the wings on, take them off really easily in a couple seconds just by myself. And luckily for me, that's fairly easy to do. I don't need anyone to help me in and out of this costume. So I can just sort of line things up and, well, this jacket's a lot thicker than my bodysuit, but theoretically they stick. Let me try that again without the mini layers of velvet. And they just sort of align themselves right up. Stick right like that, on and off. And if you want to scare someone into thinking that they broke your costume, you can just sort of give it a good yoink. There it goes. Not any problem, snaps right back into place. And you can adjust that. It's easy, sticks good. You could probably fit that method around a ton of similar things. But this is about the easiest on-off manner I could figure out to get them to work. So, magnets, how do they work? I don't know, but they hold wings on good. Let's go with that. But. Again, these wings look deceptively complicated because like they're big and they're cool looking, but literally all it is is uh, some foam, some hot glue, some magnets. Anyone I think watching this could come up with a pretty good facsimile on their own. So right now it is photo shoot prep time, so I'm going to go a little bit into the makeup and y'all are going to see some more behind the stuff from the shoot itself. Are you ready to hail Satan? Because today I'm super excited and I'm finally going to get to shoot my look and design for Satan as seen in Devilman Crybaby. It's going to be a lot of glitter as always with me and this is one of those costumes that's not quite done <laughs> but we're just not going to take pictures of the back of it and call it done enough for photography. I didn't wear this at Momocon because of reasons you'll probably see aka it's big and hot but first I'm going to get some makeup on. I always think that when I have my foundation on, but no eyebrows or contour, that I look like some weird CG, like mid-2000s animation test. I'm just not defined enough to be a real person yet. Now the lashes that I have here, I actually made for myself custom. They are made from dyed white and reshaped drag queen lashes with some gold tinsel added. Ideally, they're gonna look really cool on my face, but I actually haven't put them on since I assembled them. So we're gonna see how that turns out. All right, 
for the one golden sparkles. I got golden sparkles. No complaints here. Yeah, eyebrows. Now we get to the fun part. I have some gold glitter, some pearlescent glitter, and some mixing medium. And we're gonna combine these and see what I can get for sparkles. All right, now that we have our makeup done, I'm actually gonna gather my stuff all together and head to the studio because, thank God, they have a changing room there where I'm gonna do the rest of it. I was lucky enough to be able to shoot Satan in the studio primetime spaces with my awesome photographer Nai Chen. I had actually admired his work for a while because he had shot a couple of my cosplay friends who had been following him for a bit. And then one day he just reached out to me and asked if there was anything that I'd like to shoot with him in his studio space and I thought, hey, perfect timing, I have this really cool elaborate costume I didn't get a chance to wear to a convention and it's too hot outside to shoot it outside so an indoor studio space would be just absolutely perfect. I had a great time, really easy, everyone super professional, super fun experience that I would absolutely do again. It was my first time shooting in a pro studio space. Absolutely loved it, especially for something more large and elaborate like this that definitely would have degraded over time throughout the day had I worn it at a convention. All right, we done. That was like my first real studio shoot. I think it went well. Thanks, Satan. Uh, now I actually have to go to my doctor and pick up some prescription medication. And I don't have other contacts or makeup, so I'm just gonna run my errands like this all day and hope for the best. Anyway, uh, those photos should be out soon, and I can't wait to see those results. will be posted to my Instagram, which you can follow, at Angelic Days Cosplay. And I'll probably like put some in the video at the end of it right here, so you can see a little preview of that. Alright, thanks for tuning in.